Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life and today I'm doing a Sunday prep. It's also, God bless you, God bless you, whoever that is. <laughs> uh, it's also going to be a little introduction to cranberry harvest. So yesterday they pulled pipe and then also Warren flooded one of the beds. Um, I think he actually flooded a couple beds and then today he's out raking. Sam and his buddy were pulling pipe this morning. So anyway, at some point here I am going to get outside and just kind of give you guys a little look at cranberry harvest and a walk around that. But first, things have to be happening in the kitchen today. So I did pull out a package of chicken wings. I had the sink filled with water and I think they're almost thawed. They still feel a little bit icy, but anyways, I'm going to get the tips pulled off of that because for supper tonight, I'd like to make a chicken and rice casserole. I also put these bananas in the fridge a couple days ago because they were getting soft. Now you know what the fridge does to them. Uh, I'm going to make some banana bread. So this recipe here, banana bread, it's in volume two. This is the banana bread recipe that I have been using like since I was, since I was married, since I was on my own probably. So this is a delicious, delicious banana nut bread. Well, you can put the nuts in or leave it out, whatever you prefer. If you leave the nuts out and you like chocolate chips, you could always throw in some chocolate chips. That would be good. I also pulled out a hamburger pie uh, from the freezer from when Emily and I did the freezer meals. And so I have one of those in the freezer for tomorrow night, or sorry, in the refrigerator for tomorrow night's supper. And I also pulled out another package of chicken, a great big pack of chicken thighs, bone in, skin on chicken thighs, because Tuesday night for supper, I thought I would make um, oven fried, like grandma's oven fried chicken and mashed potatoes, gravy, that whole, kind of the whole shebang. Yes, I'm looking at the calendar just to make sure that that's going to work out. So that is kind of what is going on in the kitchen here. Oh, I also just took all the rings off of my like canning from, I think was that yesterday I canned? No, Friday, Friday I canned. And so, um, yeah, I did some green beans and some tomato juice, some tomato sauce, and then a whole bunch of pizza sauce. So I've got that all ready to go down to the basement. So into my KitchenAid here, I have one cup of sugar and I need a half cup of fat. So I like to use a half cup of butter, or sorry, a quarter cup of butter. And then I'm gonna use a quarter cup of shortening. Quarter cup of shortening. I'm not gonna measure the shortening. I can tell what a quarter cup looks like. And that right there. So for sour milk, I just put a little bit of lemon juice in my one third cup, filled it up with milk. I happen to have whole milk today, which is gonna be a real treat. And it actually, I wasn't able to show you that, but it actually kind of curdles in there a little bit. Can you kind of see the edges there? It sort of curdles a little bit in there and um, makes sour milk. So I was out of like vegetable spray. I just used the little paper from my butter and I put just a little teeny bit more onto the paper and actually use that to rub into the pan or you know, to rub onto the pan. My battery actually had, um, <laughs> had cut out. So do I have any videos on my channel where I don't say that at some point? Oh, my battery's gonna die. All right, anyway, this has to go in the oven at 300 degrees. So that would be called a slow oven for 60 minutes. Sometimes, depending on how juicy the bananas are, it can go all the way up to an hour and 15 minutes or even a little longer. So don't be shy to let this stay in for as long as it needs to until a toothpick inserted into the center is clean. 
Why are you putting butter on it? Um, because it just adds, whoop, it adds really good flavor. And what are you making? I am making chicken and rice. Not cheesy chicken and rice, but just chicken and rice hot dish or something. Can I the rice mm -hmm. Pour it just kind of all around, sprinkle it all around. Now, if I had a whole chicken or a whole cut up chicken, I would use that rather than chicken wings. But this is what I have right now. And before buying any more chicken, I really wanted to use some of the chicken that was in my freezer. And so this was a good, a good use for these chicken wings. If I can get these tips cut off, my goodness. It's all about finding that little joint. And I feel like my I feel like my kitchen shears might be getting dull. <laughs> These are actually from Pampered Chef, but what I love about them is that they have the spring. So they always, you know, they spring back. Ooh, there we go. I got that one per right away. Just a recap. So I have a cup of minute rice in a buttered, this is a little bigger than a 9 by 13 pan. I took one regular size can of French onion soup, mixed it with a half a can of water, poured that over top of the rice. I put all of my chicken over it. I have it all skin side up. And then Maria took one can of cream of chicken soup, mixed it with a half can of water, and I'm going to pour that over the top. I'm going to foil this, and I'm just going to let this sit on my counter for a bit here. I want this to bake for two hours. I want to eat at five, so I'm going to want to put this in at least by three o'clock. It's 10 after two right now, and the chicken is still just a little bit icy. So um, I think that's going to be just fine for it to just kind of sit covered out for a little bit to kind of thaw the rest of the way so I'm not putting icy chicken into the oven. I really don't want to do that. All right, well, I'm just going to get some things cleaned up here. Trying to keep the kitchen a little bit tidy as I work here today. I don't know if you're looking in the background, you're probably going, that's tidy. Well, yeah, this is kind of tidy for me. What, Joe? You're calling for me. What do you need? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. I'm here. Is that all you just needed to know I was here? No. No? He says no about that too. Okay. Well, Next up, I want to make some cookie dough. I don't think I'm going to make the cookies today, though, but I am going to make oatmeal scotchies. I'm hoping that the recipe is just on the back of the bag. That's usually the one that I make. Just kind of, basically, it's just an oatmeal cookie sands the cinnamon, and instead of having raisins, you just put in butterscotch chips. So it's one of my favorites, and I just thought that would be an easy thing to take down to Harvest Workers tomorrow for a little mid-morning or mid-afternoon snack. I guess I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to wash dishes <laughs> because I need to have the bowl, my KitchenAid bowl. How you doing, Peter? So it looks like the recipe on the back of the bag is for butterscotch walnut bars, which... No. That is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> that sounds very much like the recipe that my mom always made. I totally changed my mind. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go with the recipe on the back here for butterscotch walnut bars, which I think is kind of like butterscotch blondies, something that my mom always would make when I was a kid. So I need to start with some brown sugar and some melted butter. Okay, okay, yep, this is kind of like a blondie recipe. All right, let's first, sorry for that lighting there, let's first make a little bit of brown sugar because I just don't have enough right now. All right, so I just wanted a light brown sugar. I don't know, I probably had about three cups of sugar in here. 
maybe more. And I probably put in about maybe a tablespoon to two tablespoons of molasses. And you just keep, just let it stir and stir and stir until it's completely combined. So the banana bread today actually took an hour and 20 minutes uh, to get completely done. Now I'm putting in the butterscotch bars and I do have to turn my oven up to 350. So let's get that turned up to 350 and then we're going to set the timer for 26, what am I doing, for actually 25 minutes. Okay, now Warren and I are going to go for a little ride on the UTV. He actually already came up from raking. I told you before that I was going to take the camera down and get some video of that, but he'll just, we'll drive down on the UTV and he'll show me what happened today. Awesome! Maria, I dare that you to looks jump. awesome! Well, Maria, look, it's the Missouri River! What? <laughs> it's no. the Missouri River! It's Dad's River. Also known as the Ditch. Doesn't that look good? Ditch looks river. great. River ditch. I think it's ditch 300 plus. It's it looks really river. great. A lot of cranberries out there. I like it. It's almost yeah. surreal to see them at this point. <laughs> well, you know, to be this warm out and the color that good. Yeah. But that's high red. Wow. The quality looks really good this year. Yeah, the crop looks good this year. Much better than last year. It's uh, the 18th of September. It's amazing the color looks that good this early. We've had very little frost to help bring the color on, but these are looking good. Quality's good. Just happy I have what I have. Even little ones will bite your finger off. You can do the baby snapping turtle. Don't touch them. I think he's dead. No. Relaxing in the hot tub. How warm is the water? Pretty warm. Go ahead, Peter, jump in. Actually, you want me to? It's up to you. Remember, it's about eight feet deep. Actually, go for it. Cannonball! Oh my god! <laughs> Some people actually do it. You're a doer. That's good. That's cold beef and the weeds. So weeds? There's no weeds. Okay. There's no I weeds like in there. <laughs> there the are no weeds. Yeah, I felt like a bush. Or it something. was probably just the Loch Ness monster down deep grabbing at your feet. Everything turned out so well today. The banana bread has been a real hit with the family. I have not made banana bread in a while, so I think everyone was just happy to, was very happy to see that. I'm so happy that I started that early enough today because at 325 it does take chicken a long time to get cooked through and especially for the amount of chicken that I packed into this nine by 13 pan. The butterscotch walnut bars, are really good. They really remind me of a blondie bar with all that brown sugar. You know, you start with that melted butter and then all the brown sugar. And the recipe that my mom always made actually um, had pecans in and not walnuts. Oh, I hear some dove hunters <laughs> right now. Uh, but this is, this is very, very good if you like really sweet, because I would say that with the brown sugar as along with the butterscotch chips, it's really sweet. 
and be watching for more cranberry harvest videos because that is going to be the main thing on our plate here for the next month. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening and we will see you all in the next video. Bye!